Good evening, my people. And this is Tuko Farms. And as I always say, it's on my channel where you learn how to breed black soldier fire from eggs to maturity. And it's also on my channel where you learn new tips and tricks on how to breed them perfectly. And today is 38th of August 2021. And it's about 6 o'clock p.m. Now, the purpose of making this video is just to talk briefly on this kind of weather that we are in. And as we all know, it has been raining since now, since, it's, let me say, over a month now. And now, if you look outside, you still have these tiny, tiny raindrops. And this affects our flies. It affects a lover, especially if you practice outdoor breeding. So, for those people practicing outdoor breeding and they are not quickly to control the temperature that flies monthly hex, it's either little or no hex. If they are harvesting like 20 grams of eggs. Right now, you will just be harvesting like 10 grams, maybe 5 grams. Only the rugged flies will mate, the rest won't mate. And you know our flies, they have a very short lifespan. So they die before they get to the stage of mating or laying hex because it's too cold and there is no sun. To stimulate them to meet and this is during this time of season it's little or no sun so the little sun that come out we only attract only the rugged ones but if you are practicing the indoor breeding like i always emphasize on the weather won't affect them no matter how cold is it is, is it outside your breeding room, your love room, your love cage will always be warm. That is it. If you come to my place and you still like one her, I tell you my brothers and sisters, surely you will be sweating. Yes, you will be sweating. That is it. So no matter how cold it is, it is outside, it doesn't affect my flies. It doesn't affect my lover. So if you are practicing outdoor breeding, try and do something to regulate the temperature or else no eggs and your flies will die. More so, cold weather slows the growth of our lava. It takes them, takes them a little longer to turn to pre-pupa. It takes them a little longer to turn to pupa. And it also takes them a little longer to hatch out into flies. And when they hatch out into flies, sometimes they'll be weak. And you see them dying even before they mate. So my brothers and sisters, try and practice indoor breeding. Indoor breeding is the best. You cannot even compare indoor breeding with the outdoor breeding. Yes, you can't compare indoor breeding with the outdoor breeding. With indoor breeding, You'll be able to produce all year round. You'll be able to produce every day. But with outdoor breeding, you just be able to produce for some time. And as you can see, this is my indoor breeding. I harvest eggs every two days, every day, at least, or every three, three days. And as you can see, the flies, there's nothing to stimulate them to fly. As you can see, the rugged ones, look at them, they're just flying because I'm inside the love cage. I'm not even inside the love cage, I'm outside the love cage because I can't enter. If I enter the love cage, all the flies will fly around me. And it will be difficult for me to, <clears throat> to remove them. So that's why I'm staying at the door. So I'm going to on the light now, as usual just to see what 
I am enjoying. I want you also to enjoy this. This thing is not difficult. If I can do it, you also can do it. Just try it and see the enjoyment. If you are practicing outdoor breathing and you are harvesting 100 grams of eggs and you are happy, I tell you when you practice indoor breathing, you will be harvesting 200 grams of eggs. That's the secret. So let me on the lights now and let's see maybe they will meet or they won't meet. Now, let's see what will happen. Look at that. You can hear the sounds. Look at that sound. This is crazy. Look at that. Hmm. That's why I don't want to enter this love cage. I have a lot and lot of flies. Like yesterday, I harvested nothing less than 223 grams of eggs. If I can do this, do this in a small room like this, you can do more. Look at that. I can control their meetings. I can control their meetings. I can let them meet in the morning, afternoon, evening, and even in the night. But if you are practicing outdoor breeding, you want your flies to meet tomorrow, <laughs> it might be raining, which means no mating. So my dear brothers and sisters, try and practice indoor breeding. Indoor breeding is the best. If you to subscribe to my channel, please do it by clicking on the subscription button and also on the notification bell in order to notify you whenever I upload new videos. This is Tuko Farms. Stay blessed and God bless you.